What's going on folks? It's Larry with Packmasters Dog Training. I'm here with my little Mango. She's 10 weeks old now. We just got back from vacation. I was away from her for a whole week. That was very hard to do. But I'm gonna try to answer a couple of questions here real quick in video form because you guys asked me. One of the things a lot of you guys ask me is when you see Luca come in for the bite, you see him come very, very fast. For example, in a couple of videos, I had I was doing things where I send him away and then when I release him to me, he comes fast. But in the process of that, when I give the bite command, he kicks it into turbo speed and comes super hard for the bite. And a lot of you wanted to know, how did I create that, okay? Well, for one, he's a good dog. Genetically, he's great. But how did I make it so he always comes faster for the bite? Well, it's very, very simple. I started that as a puppy with him with the bite rag and I'm gonna show you a quick example here now of what I do with Mango, okay? Um, you ready, Mango? You ready to do this? I don't think she's ready. Are you ready? Okay, all right, let's do this. Come here. So I'm gonna show you what I did with Luca to create that speed for the bite, okay? And I just started doing this now every time I work the bite rag with, with my little girl. Let's go, girl. Good. So. As dog trainers, you know, you could take a thousand dog trainers, we all tend to do the same thing for the most part, right? But what sets some apart from others is the little things, the little fine things that we don't talk about or we don't show in videos, okay? Um, so I'm gonna try to show one of those little things here. Again, you guys ask, film something that you normally don't talk about or show. I don't show it because it's super boring and to me, not that exciting, but I'm going to show you here what I mean. Very fine details. Come here, girl. All right, you ready? So when you guys have the bite rag out, you all do this, right? Everyone does the same thing, but I want to show you something. Boom. Okay. Now you see the speed of that hit? Ah, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. Let's talk about that for a second. Real quick. I hope you caught that on video. So everyone, when we have a puppy on the flirt pole, we all do the same thing, right? It goes around, goes around. But what I see a lot of people doing is they allow the puppy to get the bite on the rag when the rag is stopping or changing directions. Picture it this way. Imagine marking and rewarding a dog that you're trying to teach something using food when it does the wrong thing. Okay, picture it that way. So a lot of these dogs as puppies, they're chasing the bite rag and it moves around every which way. And when the thing stops or it changes directions, the puppy has to slow down and then it gets the bite. It gets that ultimate reward, right? I never ever give the puppy the bite on the rag when it's changing directions. At least I try not to, okay? So 99% of the time, the only time I want that puppy biting on the rag is if you notice what I did, maybe you can rewind it and look at it in slow motion. I elevate the rag so it's almost vertical and I pick up speed. As the puppy gets close, I speed it up. The only way the puppy gets that bite they have to turn it into turbo. They have to kick it in and come fast and jump and dive and go hard at the bite. So we create that right from the start. If that puppy slows down, it doesn't get it. Just like when the puppy bite sleeve comes out, I've only had the puppy bite sleeve out now with Mango one or two times, but when it does, she slows down coming in for the bite. I pull that bite, that bite sleeve away and it goes away. She won't see it for a week, okay? I want the dogs coming full speed for the bite every time. And that's how that is created. So you guys ask, show us something you normally don't film or talk about. I don't film or talk about it because it's, you know, it's pretty basic and pretty boring, but I see a lot of folks with the, with the flirt poles and the bite rags and it's going every which way. Like I said, nothing wrong with that. We all do it, but you're giving the puppy the bite at its slowest, position when it's moving at its slowest the puppy has to slow down to get the bite all you're doing is rewarding exactly what you don't want so if you want a dog that later on as adult comes flying full speed for the bite and you guys see Luca he doesn't slow down for a bite that's why I don't do long bites with him it's brutal he comes hundred and fifty percent then you have to start creating that now with the bite rag okay what do you think oh you're still biting yeah, are you still on there like a big fish? Oh, oh, look at you. Bam. Oh, oh, man. Oh, so 
strong, so strong, and you went so fast, you're gonna be just like Luca. You're gonna be just like Luca, except you're gonna look better in a bikini because you're a sexy mofo. Yes, you are. Thanks, folks.